Only once was I ever afraid. I went out, I took the pail of goodies, and I knelt down, and Big Blondie come up to me, and I'm feeding him, and I heard this noise from my left side, and I thought, what in the world is that? But I didn't want to take my eyes off of Blondie because making eye contact with the bear is really important. So I kept feeding him, and the, I heard the noise again, only thing it was a little bit louder, and I so much wanted to look to see what this noise was because I could see Blondie was starting to stiffen a little bit. And at the same time, the noise got louder, and Blondie then turned and looked to my left. At the same time, I took a quick look, and here come Mike out of the one building where he had three raccoons, I think it was at that time, with a bunch of people, and they were making all these laughing and going on, eh? and I thought, oh, Lord. <laughs> Blondie's looking, and I could tell Blondie was scared, and I thought, oh, okay, if this is going to happen, it's going to happen this time, you know, because he, his whole body was stiff. He, his front legs were just planted right there. And so I just sat there, and then Mike saw me from when he came out of the building, and then he had everybody quieten down, and everybody, everything just went still. Bond, Blondie relaxed. <laughs> he didn't take no more donuts or nothing, but he just kind of relaxed, and he back, took about two or three steps backwards, and he went back into the bush. I let it was a sigh of relief, and I thanked the Lord for that, because I knew just one swat, and that was the end of me. <laughs>